everyone in today's video I want to show you how you can do maintenance on your ego pole saw uh, this includes everything from removing the chain replacing the chain maybe you just want to sharpen the chain uh, or even do some tightening uh, if you notice that this is getting loose I'm going to show all of that to you in this video now before we start a couple of things one you want to make sure this is disconnected from the battery or from the pole uh, itself so that you don't accidentally have anything start up before you do any maintenance the chains on these things can be sharp so to save your fingers I've done it myself I've actually cut my finger um, I'd recommend you wear gloves for this process to tighten and loosen the chain there's a tightening screw down below you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver for that first off you need to get the cover off and uh, you're gonna need yourself an Allen wrench. I'm gonna just use this and I'm going to just unscrew this screw loosening this cover. So with the cover completely loosened, I'm gonna pull that off. That gives me access to everything that's going on inside here. Um, I can pull the bar off and the chain at the same time. And while I'm in here, I'm just gonna take a cloth real quick or some paper towel and clean all this up. And a big shout out to Phantom Pines 262, one of our recent viewers to spot Tinker, our little hidden robot that pops up in every single one of the videos on this channel for instructions on what to do if you spot Tinker popping up in this video, check out the video description below. So now that this is all cleaned up, let's go through uh, replacing the chain or putting it back on. Uh, so the chain completely comes off the bar, just like this. Uh, I have myself a Harbor Freight uh, chainsaw sharpener uh, tool, which you may want to check out if you are cutting and you're noticing things are getting rough and it's just getting hard to cut. You may need to sharpen these teeth up. Uh, I'll leave a link down to that video I've done on the review of using that chainsaw sharpener. When you've got your chain sharpened or maybe you purchased a new chain, by the way, if you need a new chain or a new bar, I will also leave links to that down below. I typically start by putting the chain on on the furthest end away. It's got this little wheel that spins. So I'm gonna just kind of seed each one of these teeth into the bar so that they're going around that wheel and then I'm gonna go down each side of the bar here to make sure that the chain is lining up. Now, if the chain is having a problem lining up, uh, if it's not seating in there nice, you probably need a new bar. I wanna show you here this chain tightening knob. As I turn this screw, you can see that this is moving closer to the wheel and further away, and that seeds into the hole of this bar. You want to make sure that this middle piece is also seating right here, but then you want to also make sure that this tightening knob is seated. And then as you're tightening or loosening it, you should notice that it's taking the slack out of your chain. From this point now, as I'm looking at my chain, it is much tighter and I might even just tighten it up just a uh, smidge more. You want to make sure that that chain can move freely but you don't want too much slack down here because otherwise as you're cutting, your chain is just gonna wind up coming off. So I've got that chain good and tight, but still able to be moved. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my cover back on. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this back in and test it. Give it a quick test. And we are in good shape. Now I also wanna just tell you a quick tip about storage. You do want to store this thing without any bar chain oil in here because from what I've noticed, uh, it does tend to leak. If you guys want all sorts of tips on how to get more out of using your Ego batteries, I have done a video on that as well as all sorts of other reviews on these Ego power tools, including this pole saw and the chainsaw. So you can check all those out. Those are going to be linked down in the description below. My name is Jeff. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I enjoy bringing these weekly tip and tutorial videos to you on my channel so hit that subscribe button that little notification bell and you won't miss any of my future videos i do appreciate you guys watching and as always be sure to make every day awesome i will see you guys in the next video